Hi, I'm Hartmut. I'm an engineer at Google. Hi, I'm Shailesh, product manager at Google. We're here to introduce Google Goggles, a visual search application for Android phones. Until now, the only option for web search has been typing or speaking. Now you can search by taking a photo. Let's try this book. Just open Google Goggles, fill as much of the screen as possible with the object, and take a picture. You'll see the exact book match in the search results without typing or saying a word. Another good use is on a business card. Let's try mine. Frame the text you're interested in well. Google Goggles will recognize the text and return a result. Now I can click to call Shalesh or add him to my contacts. Let's go out and see what else Google Goggles can do. We can figure out the title and artist of this painting. Or landmark information. And when you're traveling places where you don't know the language, Goggles can translate text for you. Just take a picture, for example, of a menu. Visual search technology is still in its early stages. It works best on things like we saw today. But it doesn't work well yet on things like food, cars, plants, or animals. As this technology advances, you will be able to do more cool things like suggesting a move in a chess game or taking a picture of a leaf to identify the plant. You might wonder what happens to all these pictures you're taking. You can choose to discard them as soon as the search is done or save them to your search history to view them at any time. It's available for Android powered phones now. To download, go to the Android market and search for Google Goggles. point with vision and so today we are announcing a new initiative called Google Lens. Google Lens is a set of vision-based computing capabilities that can understand what you're looking at and help you take action based on that information. We'll ship it first in Google Assistant and Photos and it'll come to other products. So how does it work? So for example if you run into something and you want to know what it is say a flower, you can invoke Google Lens from your assistant, point your phone at it, and we can tell you what flower it is. It's great for someone like me with allergies. Or if you've ever been at a friend's place and you've crawled under a desk just to get the username and password from a Wi-Fi router, you can point your phone at it. And we can automatically do the hard work for you. Or if you're walking in a street downtown and you see a set of restaurants across you, you can point your phone because we know where you are and we have our knowledge graph and we know what you're looking at, we can give you the right information in a meaningful way. As you can see, we are beginning to understand images and videos. All of Google was built because we started understanding text and web pages. The fact that computers can understand images and videos has profound implications for our core mission.
Abby and Teddy here to show you the Google Lens. Thank you. This feature allows you to use your camera to search what you see in the world. Search what you see with the Google Lens. That's what I said. Thank you. Thank you. Let, let's take these plants, for example. First, you double tap the power button, open the camera, and then you long press on the plant and it switches it into lens mode and lets it do its magic. Ooh, a bromeliad, nice. Yeah, I already knew that. Right, because you know, we are into horticulture. Yes, very much. Now I'm gonna see where we get this nice lamp from. I made this lamp by hand. Hmm, looks like you bought it there, Teddy. No, I specifically remember making this lamp by hand. Now, these sunglasses that I've been trying to steal from Teddy for two weeks. Put them on, I wanna see where you got them from. If you won't tell me, Google will. And ordered. <laughs> Yo, don't steal my style. Too late. That's the way your son.